Okay, let's do a simple example that would illustrate um, constructing a, a truth table. Suppose we want to do the truth table for this statement. It's actually a um, disjunction of two other statements, the first of which is a conjunction and the second of which is another disjunction. So the thing I noticed, first of all, is that I need two um, columns, one for each statement, P and Q. There are two simple statements, P and Q. And thus my truth table begins as like so. Notice that with two statements, there are four possibilities. True, true. True, false, false, true, and false, false. Now, I want to start by constructing this entire statement a piece at a time. I know by looking through here that I'm going to need a not P column and a not Q column, so I may as well go ahead and do that. A not P as well as a not Q. A not P column is simply the opposite truth value of the P column. So instead of true, true, false, false, it will be false, false, true, true. Similarly, the not Q column will be the opposite truth values for the true column. So it will be false, true, false, true. Now, there are many ways to construct these truth tables, but what I'm going to do is take it a piece at a time. And now that I have not P and not Q, I'm going to create a column that creates the um, conjunction of those two. In other words, now I want the not P and not Q column. Now, recall that a um, conjunction is only true if both component statements are true. In other words, a conjunction is only going to be true in the, if both pieces are true. So it won't be true here, and it will be false elsewhere. Okay. Now, I want to create the uh, column with a not P and a disjunction with Q. Now I already have those columns in existence, so I don't need to repeat them. I just need to look at the not P column along with the Q column. So I'm looking actually at these two columns here. Now, I'll go ahead and write that down. I need a not P or Q. Now recall that a disjunction has the property that it is only false if both component statements are false. So I'm looking down the columns of the two things I'm looking at, the not P and the Q, and I'm looking for the place where they're both false, and that will be row two. That's the only time that the disjunction will be false. Elsewhere, it will be true. Now, I need to say, well, the entire statement I'm trying to build has a, um, another disjunction. So I'm taking the disjunction of those two statements. And what I'm going to do, I think, is just sort of box in the area under that disjunction and say that my final result will be here. The truth values for the entire disjunction will be inside of here. And remember, a disjunction has a property that it is only false if both components statements are false, and that would be here. So elsewhere, it is true. And so the final values of the uh, truth values for the statement that I'm trying to construct are right here. 